What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Darren, the Voltaire Fragrance Guy. Looking good and smelling great is what my channel is all about. And today, I'm back with another installment of my Two Cents Tuesdays. Of course, again, if you're not familiar with this segment, my Two Cents Tuesdays, I talk about a fragrance that's been out for a while. I just want to give you guys my two cents on it, if that's okay with you. So today, before I get into the fragrance that we want to talk about today, of course, I want to go ahead and give you guys my subscriber spotlight. And the subscriber spotlight from my last video goes to dun, 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 David L. And David wrote, very nice rotation. I scope your videos and enjoy them and admittedly cost me some coin, but that's why we enjoy our journey. I'm currently waiting for my order to come in and you touched on two Prada Intense 5.1 ounce. I can't wait for that one. Keep up your great videos. I will steer my friends to your channel. Subbed finally, LOL. Well, David, man, I appreciate you uh, finally subscribing to the channel. Um, again, that's what it's really all about. Again, sharing our journeys. And again, thank you for taking the time out to comment. And I definitely thank you for steering some of your friends my way. And as become customary here, David L, for your nice comment on my video, two sprays in the air. Ah, some good stuff. But David, that one was for you. Today's episode of my Two Cents Tuesdays, I'm going to be discussing a Creed fragrance. I'm going to be discussing one from the exclusive line, the Spice and Wood, which is probably one of the more popular fragrances from the exclusive side of things. So, if you want to know my thoughts on Creed's Spice and Wood, you know how we do, man. Keep it locked right here. Okay, guys, I'm back. Thank you so much for staying tuned in. Let's go ahead and jump into talking about this beauty of a fragrance. Creed Spice and Wood was released in the year of 2010. And again, this is a part of the Royal Exclusive Collection. Of course, there's the what I consider the regular lineup um, uh, of, of Creed, which of course is one of, is one of my favorites. Um, I really love all the fragrances from the original Creed lineup. But this is one that I really, really enjoy as well. Now, this one retails for $545. And we will talk about that later. This is a 75 milliliter bottle. And I think the only other side that comes in is the big flacon. So, so again, if you're going to get it, this may be the less expensive way to go. Although it's not cheap by any means, but this may be the less expensive route to take to get your hands on this fragrance. Now, of course, a little bit about what this smells like. Now, for me personally, let me get a fresh one right here so I can really delve into it. All right, so the initial blast, there's lemon, and there's bergamot, and there's a green apple accord. So you definitely get the, the citrus blast in the beginning. But the citrus notes to me really don't stay around long at all. Um, I pick up the lemon and the bergamot for about five minutes, and after that really it becomes about that green apple um, accord. Now, not long after spraying this, spraying this fragrance, uh, of course, you start to really get into what this fragrance was named after. You start to get into the more spicier of chords with this one. Um, I believe there is patchouli in this. I believe there is a birch note as well. And I actually pick up on the cloves as well. Cloves is listed as a note here. And I kind of get <clears throat> the cloves as well after about the 10 minute mark. It really starts to be very prominent to me combining with the spicier notes in this fragrance. Now, one accord that's very, very strong in Spice and Wood is a green accord. Now, again, you have the green apple in the beginning and you also have an oak moss note in this fragrance as well. So this, this fragrance to me comes across very, 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 very green. But the green accords in Spice and Wood plays well with the woodier and spicier notes that they have in this as well. Now, of course, when it starts to dry down, it really becomes all about, you know, uh, that pepper. I think there's a pepper note. The pepper stays around because it's still spicy when it dries down. 
but of course that's when the more woodier elements start to really come in and combine with uh, the musk. So it's kind of a musky, woody dry down, slightly green as well, and spicy. But guys, it this is great. This fragrance is really, really, uh, when you talk about uh, just a fragrance being very, I would say very regal, very elegant, uh, appropriate uh, definitely for uh, more dressier occasions. I wouldn't really wear this fragrance. I mean, we think about the price point um, as well as the, the way it's composed. I really wouldn't wear this fragrance that often uh, on a more casual setting. But again, uh, it's great for when you're dressed up. This is a perfect pairing uh, when you are, you know, dressed in more formal or just, uh, again, a certain tie type of attire, this fragrance is perfect for those occasions. Now, when it comes to performance, for me, which has honestly been one of my hits on Queen Fragrances now for a little while, the performance is not that great as far as longevity. Now, those first two hours are, are awesome. I get great projection from it, honestly, for the first two hours or so. But at complete longevity, I'm getting around six or seven hours. And of course, if you're gonna pay $545 for a fragrance, just in general, you probably want better performance out of it. So my only quarrel or issue with Spice and Wood would be the performance based on what you're paying for it. Now, of course, you can look at different sites, uh, discount sites and things of that nature to find this. It's not as easily accessible as a lot of other fragrances are. But sometimes you can run across it um, and get it at a better price than, of course, than the, the $545 retail price. But that, again, that's my only issue with it. If you look at the cost of this fragrance uh, and then you kind of pair it uh, with the performance, you know, I kind of have an issue there because, again, at $545, I want my fragrance to at least last eight plus hours. So that's my only not with this fragrance. But at the end of the day, it is a gorgeous fragrance. I am glad to have this in my collection. I've wanted it for a while and I finally have it and I'm happy that I do. As far as seasons that I would wear this in, I think it is the perfect fall fragrance. Perfect for fall. Now you can get away with wearing this in the winter time and you can also get away with wearing this in the spring. Again, there's some very green elements to it, but it's not like overly uh, cloying or anything like that or sweet where you couldn't wear this when it's warm outside. I wouldn't do it in the summer, but I definitely would pull, think you could pull this off in the um, in the spring. But again, primary season will be fall, winter, and spring and in that order. But if I had to give this fragrance an overall score, I would give Spice and Wood a nine out of 10. Again, I deduct one point because when you look at the cost of this fragrance, based on the overall longevity of it, you know, uh, I would have to take a point off of that. At that price, I needed to last at least eight hours. So, overall, great fragrance. So, glad to have it in my collection. Okay, guys, that's my time. Thank you so much for taking the time out to watch this video. Of course, you could have been anywhere else in the world, but you're right here with me, your boy, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, and I sincerely appreciate that. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share these videos because I'm your boy, your man, your cousin, your brother, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love looking good and smelling great. So until the next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace. <laughs>